Welcome to Introduction to Draft, uh, Advanced Modeling AM1 of the uh, Advanced Modeling Series uh, for FroTime. Uh, version is Pro -E Wildfire 3. Uh, this tutorial will basically show you how to create some fairly simple uh, draft features uh, on a, uh, a drafted part. Uh, basically, uh, draft allows you to uh, create uh, angled surfaces on tabulated surfaces or cylindrical surfaces makes it uh, easier for a moldable part um, and uh, let's go ahead and just kind of show you what we've got here we've got uh, uh, one two three four features and what we're going to do is insert uh, some draft uh, features on here basically three of them you can go to insert draft you can also select the draft icon over on the bottom right toolbar and uh, so Draft basically uh, is a matter of selecting the surfaces that you want to on, that you want to draft, uh, the hinge uh, where it's going to be hinged upon, and then the pull direction. Uh, so in this first example, we'll select uh, those four outside surfaces. Now you need to hold Control down as you select those surfaces, or you'll only be selecting one. The draft hinge for the bottom portion uh, will be the top plane. So we'll select the top plane. And then it will uh, show us the draft uh, preview in there. Uh, so this, the, the top will actually be where the two molded, uh, the cavities would be touching. So we're going to be pulling it uh, from there. Uh, we'll change the value to uh, 5 degrees. Uh, you can also switch it uh, as far as the uh, uh, direction where it adds material or removes material. So uh, we will uh, set that to 5. And you can see that we've got 5 degrees of draft on that bottom feature. Uh, you can also edit uh, any draft feature just by selecting the feature itself and edit. Uh, and let's go ahead and put some more draft on this. Uh, we'll draft the uh, top surface there. It's comprised of those four flat surfaces and then the, uh, the uh, curved surfaces from the fillets. So uh, once again, selecting and hitting uh, or holding down control uh, will allow you to select all those surfaces. Uh, so those are our draft surfaces, uh, and then the uh, draft hinge. Um, you could actually, in this example, we'll select uh, the top surface. Uh, you could also select the uh, same datum plane if you want. It would just change directions a little bit on us. Uh, and we'll enter a value of 5 again for uh, this feature. Uh, but you'll note the uh, draft angle is going in the wrong direction. Uh, so we can just hit the flip arrow to flip that around. Uh, and now we have the 5 degree draft on that surface as well. Uh, let's hit the green check to uh, commit to that. And uh, last but not least is that inside uh, slot or hole in there. Uh, we'll also need to draft that out so that the pin or, uh, from the, the mold ejects properly. Uh, so once again, hit the uh, draft icon and select uh, those four individual surfaces inside there. Control select, control, and uh, then we will select uh, the uh, hinge, which will be the same one as the previous, that top surface. <clears throat> and then we can uh, enter in a value uh, so we can see which direction. Uh, so we'll go with 5, and obviously that's the wrong direction or the pin would not pull out properly. Flip it around, and green check. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, now I believe, actually, I think we wanted that uh, inside draft to be uh, 10 degrees, uh, but no problem. We can always just select the feature, right-click, edit, uh, double-click the value of 5, and change it to 10, and then hit Enter. And then uh, Edit, Regenerate, or Control-G, uh, and you'd have 10 degrees. So uh, that uh, basically is three different draft features. Uh, if we want to uh, just kind of double-check, let me create a, a quick cross-section here. Uh, we'll say new, and then uh, define a cross section along uh, the front datum plane. And you can see that uh, we have obviously created a draft on those uh, on those features. If we take a look at, uh, let's turn the datum planes off, and there you go. Now you can see uh, the draft if we look at the front view. Uh, there you go. So you can get a better visual as far as making sure that part, uh, that you could pull that out of the mold and it won't get stuck.
Uh, so we'll go back to the default, and that uh, is basically uh, the introduction, or AM1, uh, to draft. Uh, to continue on, go ahead and download uh, AM2, uh, Advanced Modeling 2, to continue your advanced modeling training at FroTime.